Hey guys, what's going on? This is Leathernet Gaming, and I am back. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done anything, and well, that's kind of a long story in itself. Um, I moved to a new place. Um, I lived in a very bad neighborhood, and just could not take it anymore and keep from you know, being in a situation where I might shoot somebody, I have moved to a much better location. So, what's been going on? Um, I made a video about Onision um, a while back and done some research. And it turns out that this guy is a veteran. Um, and everything that I am reading, um, he was discharged under... I guess what you would say other than honorable um, or a general discharge um, but everything about the seer and whatnot from everything that I have been um, told and research is somewhat factual um, there's some stuff he's leaving out it's not my really my what I'm trying to do here so I'm not gonna really go much into that I said that if I did find out that he was a veteran and he wasn't bullshit and I definitely would say something um, he did a tier, uh, attend seer school uh, to be an instructor and pretty quickly found out that it wasn't for him so on that note that's about pretty much all I'm gonna say about that um, I don't like the dude I don't like his comments what he's what he's been saying about <clears throat> his thing but that's just my personal you know, personal opinion and he has a right to say whatever he wants um other things you should be seeing some more gameplay videos i do mostly dcs and um other military themed um games um i don't know what with, with some of the new games coming out what I'll be doing um, so I'm a full-time student now uh, 42 years old and I'm going back to school so um, my time has kind of been placed elsewhere for the time being um, but I'll probably throw some DCS um, I'm eagerly waiting the F14 uh, module to come out that's something I really cannot wait for and the F18 um, which is still pretty long ways away but I wanted to talk about a few things that most people don't talk about and that's some veterans issues that people with all the stuff that's going on in the world right now people it, it's become me 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 and you know with all the riots and so on and so forth going on everybody's more concerned about themselves and there are other people out there that are actually suffering um, due to um, issues that are going on with the VA, the Veterans Affairs. Um, this recently, it was found out that the VA was letting service members' bodies rot in the morgue. Um, and their excuse this time is they just didn't have the resources to do anything about it. It's been a year since some of my issues flared up and where I'm at now is a whole lot better places than where I was, but there's other people out there that are hell off, worse off than me. Um, there's people out there that are, are waiting for appointments that, you know, it's just not, you know, a hangnail. They, they have some serious issues going on. And the VA just seems to be kind of, you know, I don't know how else to explain it. It's just kind of like, yeah, we'll take a number and we'll get to you as soon as we can. Um, so I don't know else how to really, you know, to go about it. I'm not complaining about any of my personal issues, um, but there are people out there that are, you know, are suffering mentally and physically and the VA is repeatedly now um, kind of
kind of, you know, screwed the pooch and, you know, delay appointments, you know, surgeries, the health care that they do give revolves around, you know, pills. Um, some of them can be addicting. Some of them can cause other problems. I've had a headache now for six months and you know I still think it's part of the the um, the medication they're giving me I still that's well, I'm pretty sure what it is um, of course they like to scare you with you know you know brain tumors and shit like that um, but you know when it comes down to it there are people out there that you know yes they willingly signed up um, but it was under the insurance that, you know, the federal government would take care of them if they were um, injured due to, you know, either combat um, or any other, you know, issues that arise thanks to the military service. Um, people that have actually done um, or have been in the military know that sort of, you know, lifestyle, it takes a beating out on your body. Um, yes, we all signed up for it, so on and so forth. You can sit there and go on about how, you know, we got a paycheck, boo freaking who. But you have to understand that other places have, you know, you know, health care and so on and so forth. Um, in my case, and a lot of other veterans, they don't have the money to go to a private care doctor. So their only other way uh, of getting relief is to go through a system that told them, said, hey, look, you know, you sign up, we'll take care of you um, if you have any issues. Um, and it's, we believed in that system. You know, you can say that we're idiots for believing in the United States government, so on and so forth, whatever you want to believe in, but you have to understand that some of us have faith. I don't know else how they explain it. So, there are people out there that are suffering, and they're being ignored. This has to do with... with you know, even I can't even say the word because YouTube will probably flag me. But there are some mental issues that are going on with veterans that have signed on that signed on after, you know, all this bullshit that kicked up. Um, the president of the United States signed declarations of war. We did that. You know, they did that. They put their bodies through, you know stress some of them come back missing arms and legs they come back with mental issues they come back with you know scars that are going to be with them for the rest of their life and we believe the in the government in the VA to take care of those people that you know if they needed the problems and it's only usually when you come to a crisis point when they finally pay attention some people don't get that attention, though. There are people that are ignored. They're dead veterans, which pisses off, you know, other veterans to know that, you know, they're just being left to rot. Whether or not you personally don't believe that it, uh, in a system or a flag or anything else like that, but there's some of us that believe that people who served, no matter when, you know, what time period or anything, we are brothers and sisters. And nobody likes to see a family member suffer. We don't like seeing bodies desecrated um, and ignored in a morgue just because somebody doesn't want to do the work. I run into some problems with that myself. No, I'm not dead, but I'm just saying I have run into people. Does it seems like they don't want to do the work? You have to stay on them and say, "Hey, look, I'm having issues. This is what I need. Can you please help me out?" They ignore you, so you have to go, you know, 
so on and so forth until you're almost yelling and screaming at your face they're like oh okay 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 i'll take care of it and then two minutes later the the, the issue is resolved after you know 60 something emails and and several phone calls and them ducking your phone calls changing their phone numbers and when it can have been fixed in 10 minutes they just didn't want to take the time and it's just not me it's getting to the point now where the va has scandal after scandal after scandal and it only seems like the director that said yeah there's a problem we'll check into it <coughs> and after several years problems are still going on they're just somewhere else so that's that's where the state of a united states veteran is at so you have the right to say ah you signed up for it so on and so forth and whatever that's your choice there are some people who decide they want to believe in the system they believe in the united states government which is getting very hard to do recently um given the current election is about to happen but we still believe you know there's the Marines saying is is always faithful we will always be faithful to the United States Marine Corps because that is what we believe in when the system doesn't work <laughs> trust us we'll be the first ones to let you know but at the same time there are people out there dying being ignored being put in situations where they can either be homeless um some people are, are are taking their own lives i can't say the word because youtube will flag me which i'm probably going to be making a video about that one um and there are people out there that need help but have given up on the system that's what needs to change be changed with veterans we have become so focused on the bullshit on the drama um, <clears throat> what some other YouTuber said something about somebody else so on and so forth that we've forgotten to take care of people that need to be taken care of and I'm not just talking about just veterans there's other people there are some other social issues that need to be addressed I'm not saying we're not the only ones but there are also people out there going me 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 so keep veterans in mind um, I hate to say we it sounds like I'm you know being selfish and so on and so forth but there are people that sign on the dotted line to the very we knew when we signed that dotted line our life may be taken so keep in mind that when you think about veterans and the people are being ignored the VA is constantly screwing over other veterans. They're letting dead veterans rot in a morgue and they're just making excuses. So on that note, my name is Leatherneck Gaming. And if you want to see more videos um, regarding veterans issues, so on and so forth, um, like and subscribe do not be afraid to comment my videos uh, I, I will talk to you I ask that you do it in a respectful and professional manner if it turns devolves into yelling and screaming and name calling I'm sorry I will delete your video or delete your comment rather um, and I, I'm willing to talk to about anybody as long as you do it respectfully my opinions are my own my words are my own so just remember that i don't speak for everybody and as always have a nice day